the beautiful black color that covers Africa lies a visible light that shines academic, an institution that has stood the test of time to become what it is today. This is KCA University, a leading business university of choice. A new idea is delicate and it can be killed by anything if not nurtured or put into action to bear great fruit. These are great words that can be echoed by Mr. Muchekehu, who shared his idea with a team that he believed would be dedicated and see it grow. We realized that the country wasn't going to go very far unless there was enough qualified people to be able to run the economy. And this is how the idea started. I was a council member from 1984 to 1990. And during that time, we commissioned a study which was supported by government and the British government to study the account, the, 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 the number of accountants that were being produced for the economy. And we decided that it was need to start a college of our own uh, supported by the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya. ISPAC was challenged and were told, you have a responsibility to develop this profession. You have a responsibility to grow this profession. The gap that has been identified is lack of a training institution. Why don't you as ISPAC take up that challenge and uh, come, develop a training institution that is able to offer good quality, high quality training, but at affordable uh, rates, and that can reach out to as many Kenyans as possible. The Institute took up the challenge and established uh, uh, KCA. The reality of the idea, the dream and the board action came to be in 1983 when the Kenya College of Accountancy acquired space in Westlands Arcade. The university began in 1989 uh, and, and started from a very small outfit in Westland and uh, moved to the stage where it came in 2010. Due to the high demand of quality training in accountancy, there was need to expand the college, thus the move to Paramount Plaza in the 90s. Westrad became too small, then we moved again to Paramount. We could not, as the, as the, as the number of students or the population of students was growing, uh, then we saw now the need to, where do we take our student, and that's possibly what propelled us getting a home. The thirst for higher education in this profession was more than the board expected and they found themselves with no choice other than to take in more students in accounting. The market needed more of the Kenya College of Accountancy graduates in the organizations. To this end, Dr. Martin Odorotieno stepped in with another move. The two people who spearheaded the purchasing of CPA Center, John Mucheheo and Martin Odorotieno. John Mucheheo was the chairman of the board. But it was the chairman of the Institute Council. Mm -hmm. We, the, the executive, were playing a role of supporting the ideas. The Ruaraka campus has since then become the home of this great university and it has grown way beyond expectation. In the sixth year, we had been debating the issue of starting a university by converting the college into a university. Because we thought that we had the experience, we had the facilities, and we had the know-how to enable us to start. So we made the necessary applications to chair of the Commission for Higher Education. And they required that we must have basic structures of a fledgling university. That included having a university council, a senate, and a setup of startup faculties and courses. We pride ourselves for having taken the noble course of transforming KCA from a college to a university. The journey took seven years of thorough inspection and on the 26th of July 2007, the university was awarded a letter of interim authority giving it the mandate to award its own degree programs. The technical commission or committee of the chair came to KCA around 2000 and they, were, they, were, they came to inspect the facilities. The chairman of the technical committee was uh, Professor Rateo Micheka, the, the VC of, of Jomo Kenyatta. KCA had a dream of transitioning from a college to a university in response to the needs of Kenyans at the time. 
um, Kenya was a country where we only had public universities. Yet the number of uh, children who are seeking good quality higher education was growing by the day. And KCA, about 10 years ago, had that dream and said, we need to fill this gap. We need to be able to respond to the need of Kenyans and provide them with an institution, a university where they can proudly come and acquire a good quality higher education that makes them competitive, both in Kenya, in the wider East African market, in Africa, and globally. I wish to state categorically that the committees have thoroughly scrutinized and evaluated the curriculum, physical infrastructure, governance, library services and facilities, finances and staffing of KCA University. Ladies and gentlemen, after careful consideration of the proposal to establish KCA University and evaluation of resources and supporting documents, the Commission is satisfied that, proposed, that the proposed university has complied with all the requirements of the Universities Act 1985. Mine is uh, just to congratulate SEA for this first step into becoming what we hope will be a world-class university. We are proud of being one of the most professionally managed institutions in the country. The factors which have contributed to this ranking include the quality of our faculty and dedicated staff. KC University is the only university associated with a professional body. It is the only university that has in its governing council professional accountants, professional uh, persons who are serving in the economy. I would like to uh, give a great deal of acknowledgement uh, to the former Vice Chancellor, uh, Professor Daniel Roach, uh, together with the staff who have worked very hard uh, preceding me. These are engines that have propelled the university to its recognition as a university of choice whose graduates have competently and confidently served the nation and the world at large. One of the things that we I must say it was a challenge as we moved from um, college to university was faculty. Um, getting uh, qualified faculty in adequate numbers in Kenya is quite challenging because there are so many universities coming up every day. There are so many colleges that are being converted into university colleges, even by the public institutions. And so uh, the quality of faculty uh, is something that we have been extremely careful about. We have now strengthened the Senate through the recruitment of the required faculty staff. Um, we include a number of professors um, as we talk today. And then of course we have also outsourced uh, members of the council in order for us to have a cross uh, fertilization of experiences and knowledge. Knowledge is a bit like a garden. If it's not cultivated, it can't be harvested. True to this end is the university's multi-million chilling library at the Ruaraka campus. The library has a capacity of 1,500 seats and it is equipped with modern ICT infrastructure which allows our students to access thousands of electronic books and journals. Over the years, KCA University has continued to experience tremendous growth, with the number of students increasing day by day. In this regard, the university has opened sister branches across the country to tackle the increasing number of students. These branches include the campus in Kisumu and Ecobank Towers in Nairobi's central business district, which houses the Institute for Capacity Development. We also take great pride in having acquired 520 acres of land in Kitangela, where we are planning to bring up a residential campus with the idea of developing an entrepreneurial university whose students graduate with the sole aim of creating jobs as opposed to job seeking. We have 520 acres in Kitangela, uh, which is going to be our future flagship university. We're going to move there and create a structure physical plant and a structure which will. We are also moving into southern Sudan. We've been there for quite a long time before most people are out there and welcomed by the government of uh, Unity State in southern Sudan. Uh, we have 20 acres in Kisumu. Uh, we are going to soon 
uh, start, uh, start building a facility in Kisumu. At KCA University, we offer quality education and a wide range of programs that are market-driven, thereby giving our students an opportunity in an ever-changing world. We can now be able to accredit different faculties with different private bodies, not only government, because now we are being chartered by a government. But we like the School of Business can now be in the League of Association of African Business Schools in Accra. We can now partner with the ones in South Africa, the world at large. We have now created one of the largest alumni program uh, going back to the time the university was founded. And therefore, we are going to have now a permanent relationship with our graduate. Uh, we will continue uh, looking at their progress as they are in the industry. The difference between us and most of the institution is that we are flexible. Uh, we teach early morning, we teach late evening, we teach seven days a week in order to cater for the interest of the working people. Since then, students have been graduating with various degrees from our university. With every passing year, our triumph has been to watch the number of our graduates increase and that's a step that has always brought the university closer to the goals of its charter. When KCA started, we already had professional courses going on. Professional courses uh, in form of uh, CPA, SCCA and so on. And they were the courses on which uh, KCA had subsisted. And they are the courses which constituted our grounding that we are able to convert into a university with a business um, direction. We are at a stage where uh, in 2009 we graduated less than 300 people. Uh, this year we are going to graduate roughly about 2,000 uh, students. We are very proud as ISPAC that uh, the child who we um, gave birth to a few years ago, has now matured and it has now become a university. 2012 will remain a significant year in the university's history as we are privileged to receive our charter from His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya. The accountants that have been trained through KCA have been uh, major contributors in every sphere of the, of the Kenyan economy. I'm very proud of KCA University. And uh, as they come to get the charter and to become one of the greatest universities, my dream is that it will be like the Harvards of, Af of Africa, that it is going to be the leading business university. Those are the visions, those are the ideas, the dreams that we had. And, and I'm very glad it looks like it's coming to a reality. So I'm very happy that the charter for an independent university is there. It will play its part in the national economy. I know the charter will come. And I know those people will now be very enthusiastic that the sacrifice has paid. Bravo, KCA University. Hongera, the business university of choice in the region. Congratulations for this milestone. It is significant uh, to know that this university is chartered. Uh, that means it is acceptable by the government of Kenya. The chartered university is really the gateway uh, into provision of services for the university in the future. KCA University, advancing knowledge, driving change.